This shit pisses me off right here. It's the Houston Oilers. The Oilers are not back. The Tennessee Titans are wearing Houston Oilers gear. And it, it honestly pisses me off that the NFL approved these jerseys and approved the, the Titans to wear Oilers gear once again. I mean, it is just a slap in the face to the city of Houston. And I think some of y'all agree with me. If you do, go down and spam the H's. See this emoji right there? Go down and spam that if you agree with me that the Oilers name belongs to Houston. H-Town, hold it down. There wouldn't be an Oilers if there wasn't a Houston. So go down there and spam those H's if you agree with me that this is blasphemous. Hello and welcome in to today's show. Coming up, ESPN released their Texans 53-man roster projection that, uh, you know, I already did. So they kind of copied me. So it's okay. It's okay, ESPN, uh, if you copied me. But there were some names that they left off of the 53-man roster projection that they did that I think is going to be a little bit interesting. So let's get right down to the brass tacks and start with the quarterback position. They copied me. They, uh, they picked the same three guys that I did. Really original, ESPN. Really original. They went with C.J. Stroud, Davis Mills, Case Keenum, just like your boy did. It's okay. Uh, I'll, I'll send you my notes next time, ESPN. Just ask. Just ask first. Uh, then they went ahead with, went with the running backs. They actually deviated for the first time on their list from what I did. They went with Boone and Agumba Wale. That means they had to cut somebody that I had on the roster in another position. I had the Texans keeping three running backs with Boone over Agumba Wale and Andrew Beck. I, I just threw him in there. He's the fullback. But I had them keeping three running backs and a fullback. They have them keeping four running backs and a fullback. Very interesting, ESPN. Very interesting. Let's go on to the wide receiver room that they had. Once again, you know, uh, if you're going to copy off me, if you're going to copy my homework, at least change a couple things. Maybe maybe change one answer, change, change a sentence or two. But they copied my exact six wide receivers that I'm keeping on the Texans roster. Um, but they did note, I thought it was interesting, they did note one, uh, one, one guy who could kind of break through on these uh, for these six wide receivers for the Houston Texans, and that's Amari Rodgers, the former third-round pick for the Green Bay Packers. They said maybe him, Noah Brown, maybe get into a little camp battle to decide who gets that last wide receiver spot because you know Nico Collins is a lock. You know Robert Woods, John Mechie, Tank Dell, Xavier Hutchinson, I think – I think he's a lock. I'm not sure. But they said Amari Rodgers, maybe him or Noah Brown gets that last spot. So I want to ask you folks at home. I had Noah Brown as my last wide receiver on the Texans roster for this season. But do you think Amari Rodgers can usurp him? Maybe be the last wide receiver on the Texans depth chart for this season. Let me know down in the comment section. Give me an AR for Amari Rodgers or an NB for Noah Brown. This is going to be the pinned comment on today's video so you get hit with the youtube ad break hey that's perfect timing my guy go down there and answer today's pin question now going down the list going to tight end again espn hey i'll uh i'll send you mine next time if you send me yours they have the same exact tight end room that i do dalton schultz tegan quatoriano and brevin jordan not much to talk about here i mean i think these are obviously the one two and three for the texans going into the year at the tight end spot. And for the ESPN list at offensive line, they kind of change it up on me. They're going with Laramie Tunzel, Shaq Mason, Kenyon Green, Michael Dieter, and Juice Scruggs, which obviously they're not going with. Uh, they didn't start with the, the five starters because they have Titus Howard uh, in the eight spot with squat, uh, Scott Quesenberry, Jarrett Patterson, uh, draft pick from this year, and Charlie Heck. They have the Texans keeping nine alignment. I did as well, but my only question was, you're only keeping three tackles? I mean, uh, you know, Laramie Tunsil, knock on wood. Everybody knock on wood at home if you're with me. Um, he's been relatively healthy, so is Titus Howard. But, you know, the only tackle besides them that they have on the depth chart is Charlie Heck. Um, I I don't know. I Keeping three interior guys and only one guy who can be a tackle, I not a toss up for me. I don't think they keep Patterson and Quesenberry though. You can save some money by cutting Quesenberry 
And if they like what they have in Jarrett Patterson, I think they keep him on the roster. If he is not up to speed, if they don't like what they see from him, you know, he was a later round pick. Maybe they, maybe they cut him instead. But, you know, two guys who I think that they could keep over Patterson or Quesenberry, Greg Little, another swing tackle, has experience in this league, played 11 games last season. He's definitely on the Texans roster bubble, but, you know, he could be a guy who fills in at another backup tackle position. And last year's six-round pick, Austin Deculus from Louisiana State University, LSU. Could he possibly make the Texans roster this year? I think the, the Texans keep two backup tackles this year. Are obviously, Charlie Heck, he could be a swing tackle, could be a left tackle or right tackle. But, you know, I don't necessarily agree with what ESPN had on the list here for the Texans running our offensive line that they're going to keep on the 53-man roster. Now, I do agree with subscribing to this channel. If you want wall-to-wall, -wall, from the window to the wall, Texans coverage all year long, then you're in the right spot, baby. Go down and hit that subscribe button right now. It cost you, oh yeah, it cost you nothing to hit the subscribe button. And if you don't like it in a week, unsubscribe. We're bringing you Texans news and rumors all year long. So go ahead, go down there, hit that, hit that sub button. Going on to the next position for the Houston Texans. They uh, lumped just all the defensive linemen in together. And uh, once again, not deviating too much from my list. Uh, they did have a couple guys that I uh, that I did not have. The one guy that I had on this list that they don't have is former Texan Jake or uh, Jacob Martin. You know, he has a lot of experience in this league, has a lot of uh, ties with Houston, with the Texans. Last year, 14 tackles. Two and a half sacks, one forced fumble. You know, I don't know if they keep him over some of these guys, you know, Chase Winovich, some of these other rotational edge pieces, but he could be an, a name to keep your eye on is Jake Martin. Now, going to the Texans linebacker room. This is where it got a little interesting for me. They have the Texans keeping six linebackers. You know, this is where, you know, uh, I kind of deviated as well. I did not have the Texans keeping Christian Kirksey. And the reason was is that, you know, Texans can save a good little bit by releasing Christian Kirksey. And I think they might want to go young still here and get some uh, playing time for Garrett Wallow. You know, he had some run last year, 13 tackles, one tackle for a loss, was a member of the special teams unit, stepped in. At the linebacker spot, do they want to get him some run along with some of the other guys like Christian Harris, like Henry To'o To'o? The name's so nice, they said it twice. Um, I don't know. And like I said, they could save some money from cutting Christian Kirksey. He has been decent with the Houston Texans, but, you know, he's not in the long-term plans for this Texans defense. And if D'Amico Ryan is trying to change the culture, set his own tone with this Texans defense, maybe he keeps some younger guys that he can kind of teach you know get along the way for the next two three four years but what do you think at home like i said it's chat sports not jeremy sports so i need this back and forth conversation with the viewers let me know at home do you think christian Kirk kirksey makes the final roster give me a y for yes or an in for no down in the comment section what do you think do you think he makes the texan squad this year now to the cornerback position, Steven Nelson, even though he's beefing with Nick Casario, still makes the Texans roster on ESPN's roster projection, along with Shaq Griffin, Javier Thomas, Derek Stingley, Desmond King. Not a lot of surprises in this room uh, either. I think these are the top five guys. The only name to really look out for, Thomas, right here. He could be in a position battle depending on how other corners uh, play during training camp, during the preseason. He could be on the roster bubble, and you could honestly switch him out with any of the other corners depending on how they play during the preseason. And for the safety spot, they only got four guys. Jimmy Ward, MJ Stewart, Jalen Petrie, Eric Murray. They're cutting my guy Brandon Hill, the uh, Texans' late-round pick this year. And I don't know if that I don't know if that's the case. You know, they, they kept an extra running back, so they had to keep one less safety. The really, really, it comes down to whether they keep Brandon Hill or whether they keep uh, Agumbo Wale or another running back is special teams. Are they going to be able to contribute this year on kickoff, kick return, punt, punt return? Will they be able 
to help in those facets of the game. That's really what's, what it's going to come down to when you look at those last couple spots on the Texans roster is are you going to be versatile enough to get on the field? Because, you know, if you're the fifth safety, if you're the fourth running back, you're not getting on the field a lot at your position. You got to help contribute at other spots on the field. Will Brandon Hill be able to do that? We'll have to see in the preseason. And last and certainly least, uh, the Texans special teamers. I'm just kidding, Kaimi. Don't come after me. Um, Kaimi Fairbairn, Cameron Johnson, John Weeks are uh, sweet prints right there. Not a lot changed here. You know, solid group for the Texans special teams unit. Like I said earlier in the show, if you haven't already, subscribe to our channel. We're working hard to bring you Texans news and rumors all year long and it helps whenever we have a growing texans community of passionate texans fans to talk to here in the comment section so get down get in the comment section you know chirp back and forth let me know what you think and if you haven't already subscribed today and follow your boy on twitter at jeremy chugs bringing you texans what, what was that or or x follow me on x at jeremy chugs um yeah i'm gonna have to change that i guess i don't, are we gonna do a maybe a it's still light blue background. I don't know. Elon's changing stuff up. I don't know for the better or the worse. But hey, follow me on the platform regardless at Jeremy Chugs. And until next time, have a great day, Texans fans.